Jeremy LaFrance with Backstage Entertainment. We are sitting on Escape the Fates bus, sitting here with Robert. Robert, how you doing? Doing good, doing challenges. Just stoked to play the show tonight. Uh, yeah, you guys are you're playing Rock Fest out, outside venue. Uh, kind of chilly today, though. Yeah. You guys played in kind of chillier weather. I would say, what, it's mid-50s right now. Have you guys played outside in kind of this? We've, uh, we've played in some cold places, but never, like, outside, I guess. Like, Wind chill factor and all. Yeah, that. we did this one thing in in Chile, actually, South America, and it was they didn't have any sort of air conditioning or central heat. Really, it was a big place too. That's a weird thing. And like downstairs, our dressing room was like full of spiders. And then we go on stage, and like they couldn't even play their guitars because they're so like freezing. Really? Yeah. So like we've done it, but we're from Las Vegas, so we're not really accustomed to the cold weather. Right. Yeah. Exactly. Talking about kind of the band name, Escape the Fate, pretty unique. I mean, where did that kind of originate? Uh, that's, uh, that was actually before I even joined the band. We were still like on the local thing. And, right. Uh, I don't know, it was just... Kind of hear how it got started from the other guys or anything? I don't, I don't even know. You could ask <laughs> you could ask them, but I don't even know personally where, where, like, how they came up with it. They yeah. just wanted, I guess, something like kind of this, um, like, uh, something that had this weird meaning. I guess like fate for us at the time because it seemed like we were just going from band to band to band and everything just kept failing mm -hmm. and so the ultimate fate they were trying to escape was failure right and so you know that was that was a sort of mm -hmm. thing but it was like it's like fate you can't escape so it was like okay. cool kind of makes sense then huh yeah so it's just okay. it's weird and like you, well, you yeah. go through like six months of like well I kind of don't like that name but then at that point you're like stuck with it you know? yeah exactly so, exactly you know, now, something pretty cool happened for you guys. Kind of in September of '05, you guys won a radio contest, yeah. and kind of that kind of kickstarted the career almost. Like, can I tell more about that radio contest you guys won? No, no that was that was not. It didn't really kickstart it. It was kind of at the time we were. Uh, it was a great opportunity. Yeah, for yeah, yeah. Guys, no, so. we, were, we were we were doing really well as, as a, a local band. We were in the process of getting signed. Right. And um, so at that time, it was like all this stuff was happening. It's like everything's falling in line. You know. Mm -hmm. We've been playing a bunch of shows, you know, and a lot of people were showing up. And and our biggest show we had, like that's when the just, like people from the label came and checked us out, and they were just like, "Wow, dude, you guys are fucking crazy!" Yeah. And then to kind of put the stamp on it, like they were already wanting to sign us, but as another like negotiating tool, we won that contest. It was to open up for My Chemical Romance. Yep. Who um, that was like at the peak of the Three Shears album. That's when they were like, you know, already on platinum and everything and it was a yeah. big radio festival and all that and um, we submitted our demo and you know, they chose it and got to go it was the first time playing something that big on that big yeah. of a stage and right. you know we play stages like that all the time now back then that was freaking that was the big humongous. opportunity humongous it was yep. like I, I remember seeing oh my god the people so far away yeah exactly you know, but it, it was a cool experience for sure yeah. do you guys have the, your um, there's a third studio album which is your self-titled album, and that's uh, obviously Escape the Fate, just released back in November. Kind of what what has the fans' reactions been to it? I mean, what, when you guys play shows and everything, you guys are getting a pretty good reception. Yeah, actually, it's like it's quite surprising to be honest. Like, uh, I'm actually really, really like overwhelmed by how good it is because you know you you almost feel like like I, I guess when, when you're starting out and you're like working for it. Yourself to people, and you gotta sell it to them. And you know, when someone actually likes it, you're kind of like, "Whoa, <laughs> what's going on?" And right. actually, everyone, everyone likes it. I mean, it, you know, I, like our last album and stuff, it's kind of we rushed through it a little bit, and, and mm -hmm. it was we weren't got completely satisfied with it, you know. But again, that was attributed a little bit to making shit happen, and just like where the where we our heads were at at the time. But this one, we we're super focused, and we knew what we wanted, and we we're super proud of it. And, I think people are connected to that. And, yeah, definitely. You know, um, like this show today, uh, it's it's an opportunity for us to play with, you know, a lot of bands that we have never played with before, different 
different audience, a different opportunity to show stuff. And we did one last night, the same kind of show, out of the element we're used to. And, you know, they responded a lot more to our newer songs than to our older songs. So, yeah. so it's like, I'm stoked, like, cool. This exactly. new album's working, dude. And it's, right. it's so far, it's selling better than anything we've done before. Exactly. And it's, it's doing really well. And well it's, yeah, it's always good when you can make this step in the right direction. And you have your new album sell more than what you've done before. Um, kind of along those lines, you guys have three singles out so far from the new album. Massacre, Issues, and Gorgeous Nightmare. Is there, do you have a favorite of those three? Uh, well, I mean, well, Massacre wasn't wasn't exactly a single. It was it was kind of more of a like kickstart the album. Okay. It wasn't like, we never like were like gonna push that. It was like, hey, listen to this song. Yeah, right. You know, but you gotta, and, you know, that song's a heavier song. Right. And, and, a lot of our fan base, you know, they, they love the heavy shit we do. And yeah. you know, sometimes when you know when we do write a simple song, they're a little scared of it. They're like, well, they're selling out. Let's do. We love that too. That's a different right, aspect right. of the band. And so, like a song like Gorgeous Nightmare is the complete opposite of Massacre. You know, but uh, Issues was, was okay. It was my favorite. I liked it. But I'm actually really excited about Gorgeous Nightmare. And we have a video about to come out, and it's looking like really awesome. I'm super stoked. And like I showed my dad and my dad is the biggest critic. Like he would just tell me straight to my face like that sucks. And you know, I showed him the video and he's like, damn that video's badass. Really? So so yeah, we're looking forward to it and you know and when can the fans kinda see that online or Oh it'll be it'll be up in a couple weeks. Like, oh really? Oh yeah, okay. you know, with with anything that you're super stoked on you gotta you gotta feel in your heart that it's yeah. right and getting there but it's still not perfect yet so exactly. it's not gonna be it'll never be perfect but yeah we're trying to get that before we release it you know so yeah. it'll be soon are you guys kind of starting to get to that point where you see a lot of uh kind of crazy fans come up to you do you have a story of many of the craziest one you kind of encountered on tour oh uh, dude i mean there's there's all kinds of fans man there's you know there, there are girls that and, you know, i got a girlfriend actually okay i've been with for a long time but you know that doesn't stop girls from trying. Right, you know? and, exactly. And you know, and they're and and you know, we just got back from Australia, and dude, they're they're pretty blunt over there. They don't like they don't even take time to like mess around. They're just like straight up like, I'm, you know, I yeah. wanna fuck you. And, like, <laughs> and I'm like, I got a twin, dude. Let's do this. And you know, like oh my freaking the good guy in the bag. Like, yeah, yeah what do you think going on? Yeah. Yeah, it's like, you know, you know, so that that kind of stuff happens, you know, you get the, like, you know, we were in Mexico and stuff, and I'd be in my hotel, phone rings, fucking, you know, seven in the morning, it's like insanely early when you're on tour. Right, right. Fuck, hey, is this Robert? What the fuck, who is this? Like, oh, I couldn't get tickets for the show, couldn't want, oh, fuck, do you know where I am, you know, and they're stalking you, and they follow you, and they they chase after our car and drive really? like, behind us, you know, and then, you know, and there's some that don't actually know us too well, but they, they, they love our music, but they don't totally follow us, you yeah. know, they'll be like, man, like, they'll be like super stoked, like, yeah, I love this, and this is awesome, and I'm like, oh, cool, it's great, man, I'm in the band, yeah. really? Like, uh, <laughs> so it's, there, there's some, there's some different stuff, man, there's been girls that snuck their way onto the bus for some reason without knowing, and, really? Dropped off <laughs> like some gas stations. I don't know. There's a lot of people are weird, dude. Yeah, people are weird and they'll do weird things when they just they can't get enough. You know, they just want more of you. Mm-hmm. And it's really hard, like you know, how to be satisfied with someone that is such a big part of your life. You know, and, uh, so I I can see how it'd be weird. You know. Yeah. Because you know, I'm like that. I'm a big fan guy too. I used to sneak around and try to backstage. But I just want a picture and an autograph. That's all I want. And yeah. but, but fans, some of them don't get satisfied. Right. Right. They just want to keep going. So that's where. Yeah. And to tell you the truth, we're not really working. We just snuck back here, too. Yeah, <laughs> see, this is a good plan, dude. You know? That's right. All these things you've been wondering about us, you get to. <laughs> see, right. I, I would actually do something like this. I used to walk around with my guitar bag. Really? And I'd just be like, you know, they'd be like, hey, where's, where's the equipment going? Like, oh, it's that way, dude. Yeah. And like, I just would fit in, I'd fit the mold, I'd have my guitar, they, they assume I belong there, and so I, like, I would end up meeting one of my favorite bands that way. Definitely. Well, that's 
definitely for the Escape the Fate fans, we're going to have the band uh, sign some photos for you guys. We do contests on our Backstage nice. Entertainment page. Find us on Facebook. And definitely if I Escape the Fate, go get their new self-titled album called Escape the Fate. <laughs> In stores everywhere now. Once again, Robert. Thank you very much. Thanks a lot, man. Check them out. You're such a gorgeous nightmare. Impressions are hard to erase It's in my mind and it just won't go away